I get a lot of questions here on Sergar music. You know, they say, oh, Mr. Steenbakers, what was it like to tour the world? Oh, Mr. Steenbakers, what was it like to date Britney Spears? Oh, Mr. Steenbakers, what was it like to date Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus at the same time? That, guys, is a story for another time. I'm going to answer today the question that I get asked most often. Sir, how do I tune my guitar? Let's do this. Okay, so we've got a little fancy board over here. Look at this. Tune my guitar. It says, Elvis ate donuts. Goodbye, Elvis. Okay, so that's how I remember it. Elvis ate donuts. Goodbye, Elvis. That's how I think you should remember it. And what I'm getting at here with all this Elvis stuff is, on the six strings of my guitar, I got E, right, an E string, A, D, G, B, and E. So that's the notes that these strings need to be tuned to using these little tuning jobs. Hey, what about if I'm playing a bass guitar, sir? Well, don't forget about us. Well, it's E, A, D, G on a bass guitar, and a bass guitar just doesn't have these two top strings. So, Elvis ate donuts, good. I guess is how you're going to remember it. Uh, you know, really basses, I think the bass guitar and guitar are so closely related. If you learn how to play the bass guitar, one day you'll probably find yourself playing the guitar as well. So always remember, Elvis ate donuts, goodbye Elvis. Even if you are playing a four-string bass guitar. Uh, okay, so let's get down to it. We know the notes our strings are supposed to be tuned to. Elvis ate donuts, goodbye Elvis. Uh, but what if they're out of tune? Okay, let me bring this tuner in so we can see what's going on here. And what do we got? What do we got? Can you see that? Can you see that a little bit? Is there a shadow on it? There's a bit of a shadow on it. That's weird. Okay, we'll just do it like this. Okay, I'm going to play you my low E string. By the way, the low E string is on the top. That's bizarre. So that's this string is attached to this first tuner, right? You see that? It's all connected. Okay, so I'm going to be tuning this one. By the way, little tiny turns. I don't want to see any. Anybody reefing on these things, these little tiny turns. If you reef on it, my strings are going to explode, and you're going to have to replace them. Okay, where, let's get that tuner back on here. Okay, so if I play an E, look at that. That's, it says E up in the corner here. It's green. That's a little bit red, so it's saying a little bit low. And also this number here, 440, it says 440 in this corner. Okay, so if I play my E string, and only my E string, it's green. It's in tune. Well, what about, okay, I'll detune it on purpose. Okay, I'm detuned here now. I show up and I'm trying to play an E string, right? And it says E in the corner here, but it's way too low. Well, I'm going to do a tiny little turn. I'll show you how much I'm going to tune it. I'm going to play this top string here. Play this one here, just this string. Boom. And I'll give it a little tune. Get out of the way so you can see the light too. Little tune. Oh, oh, I'm getting there. There we go. Oh, a little too high. Perfect. Right, so it's a really tiny adjustment you got to be doing here on the end of your, uh, your tuner. Now, if your note is too sharp on one side, that means your string is too tight. you got to loosen your string. If your string is too flat, that means your string is too loose. you got to tighten your string. Okay, so let's do that again. Right, there's my perfect E. Let's go the other way this time. Okay, so this time my string is too tight. Uh, let's say I don't remember that, though. I'm just going to play my note, and I'm going to do this really slowly, and I start turning it, and it actually goes tighter. You see that thing? It goes sharper. I say, oh, that's, that's going the wrong way. i gotta, I got to turn the other way. Let's go the other way now. All right, so I'm going to bring it back down. Oh, so do this really slowly, guys. Seriously, don't rush it. Take your time with it. And you keep an eye on this. Look at that reflection out of here. You keep an eye on it, and you realize if you tune it, turn it one way and it's going the wrong way, away from the green thing in the middle, then try turning it the other way. See if you can get it back. Okay, so there's my note. Nice. You notice when I play it, sometimes it jumps to one side, but if it settles on the green, right, I'm just playing my note one time here, like, boing, and letting it ring. Yeah, it's settling in and around the green. Let's try it one more time. Boop. Perfect. Okay, so that's how we tune, guys. Uh, it's slow. Do it slowly. It takes a lot of practice. I don't want to uh, be cleaning up all kinds of busted guitar strings, so please, if you're stuck on something or the tuner is saying something strange or funny, 
please ask me for your help. I, I'm, I'm your music teacher. I, uh, I got to do something in here. Um, so please ask for help, I guess. Uh, thank you. We'll see you guys again next time.